Hey everybody, you can go ahead and grab your paper that we're going to be using for this painting, this art project here, and you'll want it to be sideways like this, um, so kind of shorter and longer. And in the bottom right hand corner, you can write your name. Go ahead and grab your pencil, write your name and your class, which is a five and then the first letter of your teacher's last name. And all that goes in the bottom right hand corner there. All right, so in this video, we're just gonna be drawing the first heart. Um, you'll have at least four heart candies in this lesson by the time we're all done, but we're just gonna do our first heart first, okay? So you can start this wherever you want. It needs to be big though. Um, it can be in the top right corner like me. But first you just draw a candy cane shape. And then you can draw a candy cane shape on the other side that is the same, just opposite. So this is symmetrical. Like in a fourth grade art lesson I have where we do symmetry butterflies. And then from the top left little bump there, you just draw a line going out. And then that little curve, we just want to draw another one of those curves on the left bump there. And it's going to start at the end of our diagonal line and go back into the heart. Alright, so go ahead and draw the curve that goes back into the heart now. So now we've turned, um, we're turning a two-dimensional shape into a three-dimensional form. Okay, so that's the back of that bump there on the left. Now we're going to do the same thing on the right bump. So first do your diagonal line going out. And you kind of want those two diagonal lines to match there. That one we did on the left bump and this one on the right bump. They're basically the same line, just in a different place. And we're going to draw that line in the bottom corner of our heart too. So those three lines are going to be what we call in math class perpendicular or uh, parallel. They're all the same. They're going the same direction. Okay, so we've got these parallel lines here. And then you're just going to connect the ends of those two lines. So you're going to do kind of another, um, another candy cane shape, really. And we want it to match the one on our main heart there. So it's going to be just like that curve but it's gonna be moved over a little bit. So here we go, <clears throat> curving it down. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got like a tickle in my throat. Okay, very good. So that is our first heart there and it's three dimensional, it's a form now. That's awesome, form is one of our elements of art, shape is an element of art as well. And you can do your hearts that are kind of catty cornered. They don't all have to be straight up and down. One can be on a tilt. So let's draw our next heart. So again, a candy cane shape or line and then another candy cane line um, directly opposite of it. So it's symmetrical still. And yeah, it can be the top left corner, it can be in the middle. And then let's make it three dimensional. So we'll just do our diagonal line um, going from the top bump, top left bump. And it's the same steps for every, every heart. All right, and then we're gonna try to get that curve about two fingers away from it again. So curving it back into the heart there. So there's the side of the left bump. And now we can do the side of the right bump. So again, another line that's going out from the right bump. And then we'll do a line that's going out from the bottom corner. Or just, yeah, the bottom corner there, okay? And then we just are going to connect those lines. So I'm trying to make them look as matched as I can, all of those little lines that go back into space there and are, are giving us our, um, our lines for creating the depth. And then we're going to do a curved line that connects those. And if you need to make some little adjustments um, so that 
fits perfectly. That side of your heart fits perfectly onto your heart. You can adjust a little bit and that's fine. All right. And we can go ahead and do a third one now. And if you know, you put yours wherever you want them to be, you don't have to make them just like mine, but this is how we're going to do the hearts. You need at least four um, large ones. So, and then you do the line going back from the first hump and then into the heart and a line going from the second bump, line going from the bottom corner and connect those last two lines there with the curve. And then now you guys know how to do this. So you can do the last one probably on your own, but we can do it together. Just think about where you want this last heart to go and go ahead and draw your candy cane line and your other candy cane line. And you guys know what's next, the line going out from the top left bump. And then of course we curve it back into the heart. And on our right bump, we're gonna do a line going out And bottom corner line going out and then just connect those there and there you go you've got your four hearts there now if you wanted to draw some extra hearts candies that is totally fine um, but I need four you can do more than that um, but we are going to be writing a fraction in four different ways um, fractions are division problems and so we'll be writing them as different division problems. Um, it will be the same division problem, just writing it in different ways. So we'll do that after we paint the whole thing. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to draw little pieces of candy around your hearts, you can draw little pieces of candy. You can do polka dots, stripes, um, whatever you want for your background is totally fine. You guys are either drawing another heart or you started working on your background. Um, so I'll go ahead and draw a piece of candy here. I'll do um, a lollipop. So just a stick and a swirl. So you can copy my lollipop or do something else. Do another piece of candy here, another lollipop, and just two lines for the stick and a swirl for the top. And I can do um, more of like a tootsie roll type piece of candy. So that's just like a curved rectangle with zigzag triangles on the sides or on the ends. Do a couple of those. Do little details in those for the labels or just decorations for the late for the wrapper and that's it thanks guys so much for watching can't wait to see yours